Casino, the last remaining grass tab track in New South Wales, has been a staple circuit in Northern Rivers racing for many decades. Over the years, Casino has been witness to much Greyhound racing history. In particular, the rich story of the Northfield family, Greyhound racing royalty in the region. Current club president Mitch Northfield gives us a brief insight into the great relationship between the family and the track. The casino track here started in 1936. It was actually the, the first meeting held was the night my father was born and my me, me father's father, my grandfather, the Pop Northfield, which is the day to day that we had the memorial race for, the maiden that's been going for 42 years now. Um, he came over and they had a great night and he decided they'd go into the greyhound racing because they always had a few hound dogs to chase and bruise and things and they went and bred dogs. And within four years, he bred a litter of pups and won the Casino Cup and the Balna Cup in the one, one week. A veteran figure within the club is former secretary and grader Don Waldron, who steered the club for 44 years and built much of the club we see today. During his time at the track, Don oversaw many changes. I changed a lot. It was, it was the old dog track when I took it over. And I replaced the committee and I, we replaced everything and built everything that's here today in 44 years. People involved with the club and track believe the grass was a unique characteristic and made it a favourite among many. I know it's a leader's track, this, this shaped track is a leader's track, it's a tight circle. It is a, definitely a leader's track, but I just think the, the form, putting the form together, the form stands up better than on sand track. Like grass, I reckon, looks the best on TV. A few weeks ago, the club held its last ever meeting on the grass before undertaking a massive loam redevelopment. Current Secretary Ron Hurd gives us an insight into why the club chose to make such a significant undertaking. There's a couple of reasons. Uh, the main reason is that we're the last grass TAB track that, in New South Wales. Um, a welfare issue with the greyhounds, if we don't go to loam, you know, um, because we are the last and we need to convert to loam to keep, keep in tune with everyone. And then there's a welfare issue with the dogs. The greyhounds race better on loam than they do on grass, less injuries. So, and we can, we can race whenever we want to race, Yes, We can race, you know, three or four times a week if we want to. So, it's a shame to see the grass go. Uh, it has a place uh, in the industry, but sadly with the TAB, because we do so much racing today with the TAB, we've, we've got to go to loan. There is, no, there is no other alternative. Many involved with the track will be sad to see the grass go, but feel that it will only help grow the track and see it prosper into the future. My whole ambition was to make Casino the best track in New South Wales. I mean, that has always been my ambition for Casino, to be the best. It doesn't matter what you do, what you take on. There's that many good dogs that come from the Northern Rivers and with the track, it'll be a sad day to see the grass track go, but then on the other hand, you've got to look forward to progress and we've put a lot of time in study to try and Hopefully it'll be as good as what we can do and what we can afford and look for the future. It will be a sad day, but it's, we've been contemplating the loan conversion for so long, it'll be a relief as well. Um, it, it, it's a new era. It, it's sad to see the old grass go and the end of an era. There's no doubt about that. But we've just got to keep moving forward. <laughs>